You might be wondering to yourself, why am I watching a video on self-improvement from a college dropout? Well, the most important thing is, you've already clicked and I've already got your view. Okay, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, don't leave. Chill, chill, hold on. I still need your view. Need a little more, little, little minutes for your time, if you don't mind, if you don't mind. Okay, look, I've had similar thoughts about myself, okay? Like what makes me qualified to speak on these subjects that I know little to nothing about? I mean, it worked for Joe Rogan. <laughs> All jokes aside, this is really a roadblock I met before finally deciding to start this channel. I thought that if I wanted to be taken seriously in anything that I would have to have graduated in it, I would have had to have done an ungodly extensive amount of research, that I would have had to have had years upon years of years of experience that I had I just didn't have, and I didn't have any of that. And it was really discouraging. The only thing I had any real experience of at this point was starting over. A new city, a new school, a new instrument, new friends, new girl. Who's that girl? I'm on my third rewatch, okay? So when I say it's just so good. It's just so good. Even in the areas where I feel like I have a of experience like music for example i i still felt discouraged i haven't released a single in over three years i've never released a solo project i never felt it was where it was supposed to be you know what i mean i never felt like it was ready hey yo shout out perfectionism shout out perfectionism don't do perfectionism, kids. It'll stunt your growth and it can kill you. You know, like it legit can kill you. And trigger warning for this article it, because it does delve into the subject of cell phone. So trigger warning. According to an article by BBC, one study found that perfectionism may depress patients more likely to think about suicide, even more so than feelings and thoughts of hopelessness. In a recent meta-analysis, the most complete on the perfectionism to suicide link to date found that nearly every perfectionistic tendency, including being concerned over mistakes, feeling like you're never good enough, having critical parents, or simply having high personal standards, was correlated with thinking about suicide more frequently. Yeah. Perfectionism is a drug. And a lot of us are addicted to it. And that's what plagues a lot of us today. We get so scared to move that we just don't. We get scared, we think we're not ready or our project's not perfect. So we just don't move. And if you felt like that before, you're not alone. In an article by Massachusetts-based journalistic newsletter, Mass Live, Around 30% of adolescents in the world are perfectionists. And that number actually bumps up to 80% when referring to the gifted population. While I haven't dealt with perfectionism as much as many of y'all might have, I still found it hard to move forward. And it wasn't as much as perfectionism as it was procrastination. Yes, J.D. Andre deals with procrastination. J.D. Andre is a resident of the procrastination nation. And actually, I'm running for mayor of the procrastination nation. So I would definitely appreciate your vote. Yeah. Maybe I'll run next year. Yeah. You know, funny when you think about procrastination, it still can stem from perfection. Perfectionism is everywhere. Damn, bro, do you literally have to be in every single thing? Like, I really am sorry, man. Like, I, I, Jay, I really do apologize. But, you know, I mean, s someone's got to do it. Am I, am I right? You know, and they keep paying me the money. But enough putting myself down. Because if there's one thing I know, it's one thing I am great at. Something I've been great at since birth. I am a great failure.
And a handsome fella too. So many failed YouTube channels, failed sports careers, failed tests, failed classes. I mean, I've become somewhat a pro at it. But one day something clicked in my brain. It was somewhere between the last bag of combination Kroger pizza snack rolls and the 2013 Vines That Make Me Leaves compilation. Cause you know, we can't let go of our past. I thought to myself, and I said, I don't want to live like this anymore. And I thought to myself, Jay, you're not getting any younger. You got this chance. You only get one life. And a great philosopher once said, you only live once. That's the, motto, nigga, yellow. the same man also said, I feel good, sometimes I don't. And I just, I feel good, sometimes I don't. How does he do? How does he do? So I decided I'm gonna give it another try. That being this YouTube channel. And if I fail, so what? At least I have fun doing it. Cause that's really the important part, you know? Having fun, you remember having fun? Do you remember fun? <laughs> a lot more fun than rewatching a favorite series on repeat episode after episode. Unless it's New Girl, if so. Carry on. And I hope I can push you to do the same thing. And not necessarily the same thing. I mean, you could. Could be to start another YouTube channel. Or to go on a diet. Go to the gym. Ask that girl or guy out. Join that sports team that you always wanted to join. Go travel. Stream on Twitch. Or maybe, I don't know, I'm just spitballing here. I don't know, uh, maybe starting a podcast to spread misinformation about the COVID-19 virus. Hmm? Okay, okay, but not that one. But just do it, you know? Hell, you may fail, but you may not. Even if you do fail, at least you made some fun memories in the meantime, you know? And, and check this, now you can just focus on trying something new. That's the beautiful thing about life, right? Isn't it? It's an empty canvas waiting for you to fill it. And you have an unlimited number of canvases to paint. And not one has to be the same. And not everyone has to be a masterpiece. Just have fun with it. So don't worry. You're not watching a self-improvement video from a college dropout. I mean, I'm not even a college dropout. I'm going back. But I'm just taking a little break. You're watching a video on how to fail from one of life's most prolific failures. So fail away. Fail classes, fail tests, fail recipes, fail relationships, fail your parents, fail safes, fail I don't know. Fail. A weird way to start for channel, right? Yeah, that's me. And if this video doesn't succeed, and if it ultimately fails, well, <laughs> I guess I did my job, didn't I? Okay, look, look, no, 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 no. Disregarding the whole message of the video, I want this video to succeed. Okay, it doesn't, like, I, it's my first one, so it doesn't have to, like, skyrocket necessary that had to be perfect or amazing i'm just saying like i put a lot like i spent a lot of time scripting storyboarding adding jokes editing filming getting these lights these lights took forever dog like oh my god like it doesn't have to be perfect but i just wanted to I, okay you know let me chill let me, chill. Let me not add too much before you know who comes <laughs> Bro, again with this? Again, again, again. Like, really, Jay, I'm really, really sorry, mate. You know, I mean, like, I mean, they just keep banging my you know, they keep calling my name. I'm really, really sorry, mate. I just, I can't stop. But hey, if you got anything at all out of that video, all I ask is that you like it. Maybe leave a comment, you know, send it to somebody who may deal with perfectionism, you know what I mean? Who might need to care about it a little less or send it to somebody who doesn't know how to fail. Let them know. It's okay to fail. Jay says so. Let's say Jay said it's okay to fail. And then when they come to me and be like, I failed and this terrible thing happened to me and now I'm living in a man down by the river. You know, well, you know what I'll say? You know what I'll look at them dead in their face and say? I'll say results may vary. Thanks, y'all. Also, yeah, I know. I cut my hair. Isn't it weird? <laughs>